Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy neck warmer, scarf, or cowl. Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Welcome to Hectanooka One. Coming to you from Nova Scotia in Canada, the most beautiful place in the world to live. To make this cowl, you can work with either one strand of chunky yarn or two strands of worsted weight. I'm going to work with a chunky yarn, Karen Tea Cakes, and a 9mm crochet hook. I'm going to make adult size, so I'm going to start with chain 20. So, chain 20. Okay, I have my chain 20. And now I'm going to work extended double crochet stitches. So I'm going to work into the third stitch from the hook to make a double crochet yarn around the hook, insert the hook through the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through. Now to make an extended double crochet, you pick up the yarn and simply pull it through that very first loop. And now I can pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. And that's your first extended double crochet. If you're a beginner, mark that stitch of the turning chain because that is the stitch you will work your last stitch in. So again, yarn around the hook, insert, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through the first stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. And I'm going to continue all the way across the row. Okay, so work all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row. At the end of the row, chain three. One, two, three. Turn the work. Now I'm only going to work into the back side of the stitch, and this is going to take the place of the first extended double crochet. So yarn around the hook, insert into the back loop, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pull through one loop, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. And I'm going to continue that across the row. Okay, so work all the way across the row and work your last stitch in that loop. And working into that last loop will keep your edges nice and straight. So you're going to continue to repeat that row until the neck warmer is approximately 22 inches long or will wrap around your neck. And I have one here that's finished. So now when this is finished, you can either just fasten off and put it around the neck and pin it. Like this, you can attach a button or a brooch. Or if you'd like, you can make a turtleneck by bringing the two ends together like that and then slip stitch to join the two sides. matching the stitches and just slip stitch in each stitch until you have this closed up and then you'll have a turtleneck pullover type style like this and i put a link below for my video on how to make these t-shirt rosettes and to make these rosettes removable you can take one of these barrettes and just sew them on the back and that's it. That's how easy it is to crochet this neck warmer, cowl, or scarf. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.